This game is called Would You? And it's a really simple requests game that actually builds in our capacity to notice if we're a yes or a no to things, what we're a yes and a no to, and what is it like to ask for what I actually want? So the kind of meta skill to this game is tuning into my body. What do I desire and what do I not? Framework we're going to use. There's a couple different ways to play it. Uh, so I'll start and I'm going to ask things of Hazel Grace and it's going to start with, would you? And I'm going to ask things I genuinely want. Could be in relation to her in relationship to me, like, would you give me a hundred dollars? Could be her in relationship to herself. Like, would you start working out three times a week? That's what I really want. Um, it could be her in relationship to the world. Like, would you start a charity? Doesn't matter, but it has to be something that I genuinely desire. And Hazel Grace is going to take a second and check in to see whether or not she actually wants to do that thing. And then she can say, yes. And if you're playing this, you can even have the person do it in the moment. So if there are things she could do right now, she could just do them. Um, she could say no, or she could offer an alternative. So, um, so I'll start and I'm going to make two requests and then I'm going to give her the space to make two. Sound good? It sounds good. Am I doing one through five or no? No, I'm going to take that out. Okay. Okay. Hazel Grace, mm -hmm. would you, um, since I can't directly touch you, would you like reach out your hand as if we're like, doing the the et can barely touch phone home thingy and just like stay like six inches away but do this i'm a, i'm a yes to doing that <laughs> i wish can you would you sing the song to et <laughs> i don't there, remember there it so i'm gonna sing the final countdown all right i'm done <laughs> Great. i like this back and forth instead um Okay, I'll do one more. Um, mm -hmm. Hazel Grace, would you... Would you let me know if any of um, the content that we've filmed uh, makes it into your training and how it impacts your students? Mm. So I just want to make sure I got it right. I'm going to reflect. So you're saying... Would I, if any of this content makes it into my program and it, and if it impacts students, is that that's what you're asking? And let me know like what the impact is. Oh, like let you know what the impact is. Yeah, I feel super excited about doing that, and 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 the yes feels like a celebration and honor of credit, and and also you knowing the impact that it makes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Would you like to make a request? <clears throat> yes. <laughs> um, Sarah, would you be willing to give me a full body massage? No, because I don't think I'd be comfortable with touching right now. And I also don't feel like I have the time mm. um, in the time we have together. But I would be a yes to contributing $50 towards hiring you somebody to give you a full body massage. And that's on film, right? <laughs> yeah, that's on film. <laughs> I will Venmo you after this. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. I will receive that. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> uh, Sarah, hmm. would you be willing to tell me if I ever show up in a way that feels not honoring to you? Hmm. Yes. That feels like a beautiful, like stretch and easy mm -hmm. extension of trust. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And then at the end of it, we might take a minute or so to debrief. How was that to play? Did I actually ask for the things that I most wanted? Or were there other things I might have asked if I wasn't nervous about it? And what was it like to make requests and to say yes or no? Mm -hmm. And including the one-on-one -on -one shares or after if I want, it's really valuable to bring this back to the group and ask if what people's experiences were with them, uh, were with making the requests, receiving the requests, whatever. And even hearing, one other thing I like doing with this game even can be pausing 
between person one going and person two to just ask the room how it's going and what sorts of requests are people making to spur other people's creativity. Anything you want to say about this? I like asking the group because if some people are having a challenging experience with it, when someone reveals that they're having a difficult time and somebody else is, it can feel that they're not alone. Or they're, there's not something wrong with them if they're having a challenge with a thing. So sometimes when we harvest or get shares from the group, other people can feel included or like they're, they're okay, just the way that they are. Totally. And that's what you. <laughs>